In this video, we are going to look at connected graphs. We have four figures below. Two of them are connected graphs and two of them are not. In order for them to be a connected graph, they have to have all the vertices connected either directly or indirectly. So let's talk about that in figure one. Let's look at vertex A. Now it is directly connected to vertex B because they share an edge. If we compare vertex A with vertex C, they are indirectly connected because in order to get from A to C, I have to pass through another vertex. I have to pass through either vertex D or I have to pass through vertex B to get there. So we will write that they are indirectly connected. Figures 1 and 2 has every vertex connected either directly or indirectly. We call these connected graphs. Alright, now looking at figures 3 and 4, these are not connected graphs. And the best way to see this is to look at vertex A and vertex C in each graph. There is no way that you can get to vertex C from vertex A in either figure 3 or figure 4. This is because we are missing the required edge needed to get from A to C. Anyway, that concludes our video introducing connected graphs. Remember to read the description below for links to workbooklets that relate to this video.